Hey guys what's welcome back to another video. So a new update has come inside the Winletter C mode version, version 13, after which you can also play multiplayer here. And brother, this has literally not been done by any other Windows emulator yet, which you get to see inside Winletter C mode. In this update, you get to see a lot of new features and here mainly major upgrades have been done related to the controller. So in today's video, we are going to try this and at the same time I will also share my best settings with you and I am also going to give a tutorial on how to play multiplayer. So the video is going to be very interesting. You guys watch the video from beginning to end and if you are new to the channel, then subscribe for such great videos. So without wasting any more time let's get started amazing video. Alright, so this is the Winletter C mode version 13 update. And here in the settings you have to go and set it on performance mode and click on right. Then you have to create a container and keep its resolution according to your device. Here you have to select 9.0. You will get one x86, one ARM64 EC. So I am going to keep Mr. 64 EC here. But sometimes better performance is obtained in x86. After this, choose according to your device in the graphics driver settings. I am going to use the system driver. But if you have a suitable turnip driver, then you can select the turnip driver. Then for DXVP, I will select only 2.3.1 ARM64 EC gippings. Then I will turn on both and press OK. Here, turn on full screen stretch. Then go to environment variables. Here, remove DXP hood and turn on mango hood. Then go inside advanced settings. Here, you can select anything from box 64 version. Keep it on preset performance mode. And below you have to select the so mode as fastest. Then below you have to keep the startup selection as essential. Otherwise your controller will not work here nor will the virtual gamepad work. So I will keep it as essential. Then after that I will click on the right. And your container will be created here. So by opening the container you have to create a shortcut of your game. Something like this. Then here you can see that you get a lot of new features. The first one is the controller manager which is very important guys. In this you can connect multiple controllers. You can connect up to 4 controllers here. So here you can see that I have connected both my controllers to my mobile. One, the left one, I have connected here through USB and the controller on my right is wireless. So I have connected it through Bluetooth. Similarly, you can connect up to four controllers here. Only after that you have to open the controller and go to the controller manager and here you have to configure both player one and player two. For that, you have to click on assign here. Then click on assign on any button of your controller, it will detect it. After that click on assign again on the second player and click any button of your controller, it will be assigned. After that you have to enable both player 1 and player 2 in the same way as I have done. After that click OK. After that open any of your multiplayer games which run offline multiplayer. Guys, here we are talking about offline. So here I will go to offline. Here I will go to VS Battle. So here I will first choose my character from my left controller. So here I randomly choose any one character. After that we will also choose our character from my right side controller. In this way you can play multiplayer with both the controllers. Alright, my game has already started inside the same device. So, let me show you now. So, look, the left joystick is working. Now, look, the right joystick is also working. Look, both are working simultaneously. There is no lag at all for different players. It is a very smooth experience. Just like a console, there will be no latency issue here because you are playing multiplayer inside a single device. And here you can play multiplayer with up to 4 controllers. But yes, this is going to be offline multiplayer and apart from Tekken 7. There are many such games where you get to see this kind of offline multiplayer. And right now you are seeing, I have called my brother. Here you can see player 1, player 2. So I fought a fight with my brother. In this way, we got to see a very smooth experience here. Neither did he face any kind of lag or glitch, nor did I face any kind of lag. We got a very smooth experience. And the best thing here is that you do not need multiple devices. For this multiplayer, you can play two brothers, three brothers, four brothers together within the same device. But yes, you should have a controller brother. Only then will you be able to play. And here we are playing within the same screen. But there are many such games guys where there is a split screen. That is, the screen gets divided into two parts in the middle. One player one, one player two. So you will be able to play those games here as well. So that experience is also going to be very next level. Apart from this, I found this feature of Valter C mode very good. I have found this to be the best feature till now, which is not present in any other Windows emulator. How did you like this video? Do tell me in the comments and for such great videos, subscribe to my channel. I will meet you with another interesting topic. Till then bye Sarah.